Hey y'all, my name is Brian Krogsgaard, and in this video, we're gonna talk about getting set up on Binance Smart Chain, and we're actually going to go beyond that and not just set up a wallet on Binance Smart Chain, but we're also going to go through the process of depositing to it and even setting up and staking. Hey, you know what? This video, uh, along with every single thing that I put out, is brought to you by the fine folks at Matcha. Matcha is a fantastic way to trade. Just go to ledgerstatus.com slash matcha and you can trade through an aggregated service. They find all the best liquidity pools and they uh, aggregate the best tokens to use and it's an excellent interface. It really makes DEXs super easy and I am thankful for them for being a sponsor for everything that we do. Go to ledgerstatus.com slash matcha to check them out. Now, what I want to do is walk you through the process, okay, of getting set up on Binance Smart Chain. Why, let's start with why Binance Smart Chain. Well, <laughs> it's yet to be determined if it's like a go-to place, but we, what we do know right now is that it's significantly cheaper and faster than doing something on the Ethereum chain. This chain is EVM compatible, the e Ethereum virtual machine. Uh, so when you're running on Binance Smart Chain, you're running just like you're running on the Ethereum network from a code perspective. So a dApp could say, hey, uh, we have a cool uh, application or project. We just can't handle these Ethereum fees. So they say, we're going to operate on Binance Smart Chain. And boom, they shift everything over. And now it runs just the same, except it's on Binance Smart Chain, which is faster and cheaper, etc. The uh, Binance folks are, are trying to recruit projects to go over to Binance Smart Chain. It's not the only EVM compatible chain there is, but they have a huge advantage of users and money and marketing and all this stuff. And some projects are taking them up on that. So uh, what I'm gonna do today is show you how to get set up with your wallet using MetaMask, very similarly to if you're running on Ethereum. It's gonna look really, 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 really similar to Ethereum, all the way down to the address uh, being the same as your Ethereum addresses, uh, if you would like it to be. And this is a collaboration, I guess, because the folks at something called PancakeSwap put out a call to teach people how to make a wallet in Binance Smart Chain. So I guess this is my entry to the Pancake Swap Challenge. It's a video I wanted to make anyway. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I am onboarding myself to Binance Smart Chain, and I'm going to get started, uh, and I'm going to stake some cake and BNB. Uh, that's our goal here. We may not get all the way through it, but we're going to try. All right, so first things first, what we're going to do is go over to pancakeswap.finance, and uh, you can see, you know, here's the, here's the stuff that they have. Um, you know, there's a lot of these projects out there. I'm not trying to advocate for any of them. This is the one I'm using. I like this team's hustle. They messaged me and they were like, hey, we want to, we want you to get set up and check this out and try it. Here I am. All right. Now, when I click over to MetaMask, I have an Ethereum wallet. I'm logged into MetaMask. If you don't know how to use MetaMask, that's kind of a prerequisite for figuring out how to do the same thing with the Ethereum network. All right, so we've got our Ethereum wallet here in MetaMask. Like I said, if you don't have MetaMask, if you don't know how to use MetaMask, you need to get set up with the Ethereum version. What I'm gonna show you how to do is transition to Binance Smart Chain with this. And you see this address that ends in CB. We're gonna end up with the same address, but instead of the main Ethereum network that you see here now, well, we're going to do a new network. So that is the trick to get started here is you click this drop down and move from the main Ethereum network. And then they have the test nets that you could use for Ethereum. But what we're going to do is do an, a custom RPC. When you do a custom RPC, and I promise this is the most complicated part of this whole process, you need to set up the, the settings for the custom RPC. So our network name is Binance Smart Chain and our new RPC URL uh, is going to be the bsc-datac.binance.org. The chain ID is 56. The symbol for our base pair here is BNB. And then we're gonna put in the URL for the Binance Smart Chain 
uh, Block Explorer at bscscan.com. Now I'm going to put these, uh, just, you know, these pieces of data in the description for this video. But bsc-datac.binance.org is our RPC URL. That's how it's going to know where to connect. The chain ID 56, the symbol BNB, and our block explorer. And we're going to save it. So what we just did was we connected to Binance Smart Chain. It was that easy. Now you can see instead of Ethereum here, it says we have zero BNB. And in order to interact with this chain and pancake swap and all this stuff, we actually need BNB here. So that's our next step is to send some BNB here that we can then figure out how to uh, participate in the Binance smart chain ecosystem. So what we need to do is we need to send BNB to this address. And I have this pulled up over here um, that you can't see, but the concept is exactly the same, so don't worry about it. And I'm gonna show you uh, a screenshot of what I'm looking at. Um, so I'm gonna send to this address and then I'm going to uh, show you this picture of what I'm looking at. So I put my address in right here and then I picked BSC, the Binance Smart, Train, Smart Chain address. And then I'll choose my amount. Uh, so we're gonna send uh, some uh, BNB here and I'm going to click submit on the live version of this uh, and now I need you to hang with me while we go about this but once we do we'll be able to look up this address on the Binance Smart Chain Explorer and when we uh, open this up next time we'll be able to see that there is a value there all right, I'll be right back with BNB in this wallet. All right, now we're back. And just like that, uh, we've got BNB in our account uh, using the same address. And if we go to bsc-scan.com and use the same address, you can see uh, the activity for that coming in. Now, keep in mind, this is the exact same thing, the exact same address as the Ethereum one, but it doesn't show up in Ethereum because this is the, the same number, but this is the Binance chain. So it is only going to show up there. That is the importance of connecting your MetaMask through Binance Smart Chain instead of through uh, Ethereum. One other thing to remember back from when I did this uh, over here, um, you know, I think actually they are smart enough to determine you know, be, in, be through the uh, BEP2 or BEP20 networks. I'm just doing it straight through Binance Smart Chain. Um, but I like to have my, my wallets set up in MetaMask and ready to go. Uh, one other thing in terms of how we connect it over here is I am just showing, you know, a connection through a primary MetaMask account. If you do a connection through a hardware wallet, which is a great thing to do, then you would connect your hardware wallet and use your confirmations on your hardware wallet and pick from one of those addresses on your Ethereum hardware wallet, what it looks like with Ethereum. You don't have to do anything different. The Ethereum virtual machine, it's just magic the way it all works. Uh, and when you're done with that, you've got your BNB. Now, important thing to remember, BNB is now your gas. It's not Ethereum. It's not some other token. You have to maintain some BNB in your account in order to preserve gas. Um, so now we're sitting over here and we're like, hey, what do we want to farm or do we want to stake or what do we want to do? Do we need to, you know, pick something up? First, let's just go ahead and connect our MetaMask. Now, there are other options. You can set up uh, Binance Smart Chain with these other options. But all I'm going to do is, you know, click connect so that I can see the farming options and what... APY can I earn and all of that. So if I want to do uh, cake BNB to get this, you know, sweet, sweet 2600% APY, um, that's cool. But I actually need um, both cake and, and BNB to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to their exchange and I'm going to connect MetaMask again over here. This is all going to feel really familiar. This is going to feel just like Ethereum. Now I'm not going to do max because I want to uh, I want to get enough cake to be half for for the pooling sake. So I'm going to 
do a little less than half because I want to um, I want to make sure that I have enough for gas, like we said before. And look at all these B, uh, B, Binance Smart Chain compatible tokens over here. Um, this is all the stuff that you can trade on Binance Smart Chain that's perfectly compatible. We're going to pick cake as the one that we want to move to. Estimated amount of cake that we get. Here's our price in BNB per cake. And importantly, just like any other swap, look at what your price impact and all that's going to be. Uh, because we're on pancake swap, our liquidity here is probably pretty good. This is the same pool we're, that we're trading through that we're soon going to uh, be farming through. So here we go. We're going to confirm our swap. Uh, and notice this, our gas fee is 0 0.003 BNB. Um, and this interface is very similar. It's slightly different than the Ethereum one if you're used to using that. Um, but it's very cheap. Press confirm. Transaction's been submitted. We can view it on BS, uh, Binance Smart Chain scan. And off we go. It's already done. Success. We now own uh, Cake and BNB. And we should now, boom, get the confirmation. We've got our goods. Uh, and let's refresh this page back over here. So we want to, uh, let's see, we were on the farm and we want to approve right here, four cents for the transaction fee to go through this approval process. And again, uh, it's really fast because that's just how it is over there on this Binance Smart Chain network. Now, is Binance Smart Chain that much faster than Ethereum? Well, for one, it has less activity. So yes, it's faster because it has less activity, but there's also some differences in the block times and other stuff in terms of what's going on here. Um, okay, and now, oh no, look at that. We can't stake anything because we didn't actually pool. So now we have to figure out where do we go to, uh, to pool this, maybe. We go over here. All right, so back on that exchange where we swapped, now we want to add liquidity. So we want to have our BNB and our cake, and we're going to pull our max amount of cake, which will still leave us with some BNB. So we're going to approve it one more time. Uh, and all this, I don't have to confirm it in the hardware wallet because I just put it directly in the browser one so that this tutorial would be a little bit easier. However, for your Peak security, uh, notice it's all already through, that's sweet. Uh, for, but for peak security, you do wanna connect to a hardware wallet and not just be on desktop. And here we go, we're gonna uh, confirm our supply in the pool. Uh, we are going to confirm our, our gas and all the situation here. And once again, our transaction has been uh, submitted. We can go view that over on the BSC scan. Uh, and bam, just like that, it is done. So we have now pooled our BNB and our cake. We are at the same risks by pooling BNB and cake as we are on any Uniswap pool or anywhere else where we provide liquidity. We can absolutely suffer impermanent loss uh, by participating here. Uh, you see there's $5 million of liquidity in this pool. Um, and the impermanent loss could come because of the volatility in cake itself we're taking that risk for the sake of the 2,600% APY, and we're going to hope that it sticks with us uh, or that the, the price holds up while we pool this. Uh, so now we're um, depositing our cake BNB flip tokens, and we're going to press confirm uh, to confirm that that's what we want to do. And once we do that, these tokens will have left our wallet and gone to PancakeSwap where you know they're managing custody because we're staking them for the rewards where uh, we'll receive the, uh, the cake as our reward. There we go. We've got our cake BNP uh, pooled tokens. We're earning cake. We're farmers. That's what we're doing. We're now farming for this super high yield. You can farm other stuff. You can farm... Uh, pairs that have nothing to do with cake itself. Uh, the reward is going to be a little less, but for instance, Link BNB gets 291% APY currently on this farm. 
uh, depending on your tolerance, that's pretty good opportunity. Uh, you can also just stake cake directly. <laughs> uh, so what you would do in this scenario is you would approve your cake and you would stake it and then you would earn syrup. And syrup is another token in this ecosystem. Uh, is this all the future? I don't know. But what I wanted to do today was show you how to set up your Binance Smart Chain wallet and then uh, on top of that, how to go about actually farming. So that's what the process looks like. That's what it looks like on Binance Smart Chain. It looks a lot like Ethereum because Binance Smart Chain is the Ethereum virtual machine. It's just using a whole different chain uh, to do it. And that makes it faster. That makes it cheaper. Will it make it uh, be something that people use for the long term? We'll find out. That's our experiment today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and like and all that stuff um, and, and check all this out. Please do your own research. Obviously, it should be obvious that this is a high risk uh, trade, investment, whatever you want to call it. This is, uh, this is fun farming, et cetera. Uh, you need to take that into account before you go crazy on this stuff. These high APYs, they don't necessarily last. Um, this is often something that they'll do in order to get early liquidity, get participation in the ecosystem and reward early adopters before it starts to level out and the emissions come back to something a little more reasonable. That's all I got. Uh, thanks so much to Matcha for being our sponsor for everything that we do. Go to ledgerstatus.com slash matcha and check out how great their trading experience can be. We'll see you next time.